Well, I guess you really don't need to spend more than $15 on a good pair of earbuds. I'm an audiophile to some extent, and I can always appreciate good sound quality at an inexpensive price point. The earbuds we're looking at today is from King Yu, and these are the most recent release of earbuds. They've had some trial and error with other earbuds, but they've got a refined, well-rounded pair of earbuds for the price. Let's get into the details and features of what makes these $15 earbuds an excellent value. Hey what's up guys, my name is JD from JD Tech Gear and welcome back to the channel where we discuss PC passion, tech reviews, unboxings, and setup design. So if you're into that sort of thing, consider checking out the rest of the channel and subscribing. So the earbud market is massive. I know, it's quite extensive. There are thousands upon thousands of earbuds out there. And there's plenty of options to choose from. A lot of them are good and a lot of them are bad. It's hard to choose sometimes because the options are so overwhelming. So this might help make your process a little bit easier if you're doing some research looking for a nice next pair of earbuds. I am aware that there are plenty of good earbuds out there for a similar price and everyone has their own preferences when it comes to something sounding good. Now when I say something sounds good, that means it sounds really good as far as sound quality, but great or exceptional audio quality comes from much higher end brands. This is not a high end brand, so keep that in mind. When I say the sound quality is good, that means that it is better than the majority of earbuds for a similar price or around that price point. Now there's no way I'm going through thousands and thousands of earbuds to really see which one is the best at this price point, but I've had a decent amount of experience and exposure with other earbuds to know what good and bad sound quality is. With that out of the way, let's get on to the review. Now I'm not going to throw a whole bunch of specs at you, particularly because I'm not necessarily interested in the specs since a lot of people don't pay attention to them when it comes to earbuds. And also, if it sounds good to me, then it sounds good, plain as that. So first, let's talk about the sound quality. The sound quality of these earbuds is quite exceptional for the price. They produce crisp highs, mids, and lows all around. The bass is clean and deep and doesn't oversaturate the rest of the song, which depends on the mixing of the song sometimes. If you have an equalizer set to bass boost on your phone, then they start to get a little too bassy for my liking, which is a good thing. I don't want to have to turn on bass booster just to get the right amount of bass. Leave the equalizer set to off or something more neutral. I have well over a thousand songs on my phone of various genres from classical to trap EDM to country to hip hop to instrumentals. So testing various types of genres and mixing styles from various artists show whether or not these earbuds are well rounded, in which they are. They sound phenomenal for $15. I actually bought a pair of Beats earbuds about uh, a few years ago for about a hundred bucks and they were great or at least I thought they were. The sound quality was the same, if not worse, than my $30 Sony earbuds. Um, so not to mention when compared to the King U earbuds, they were right on par. So there was a $15 pair of headphones that I have right now that sounded almost on par with the Beats earbuds that I got for about $100 a couple of years ago. And I, I realize that's a couple of years ago, but the fact that I paid $100 for those that's when I lost a lot of faith in beats. So yeah, great sound quality and crisp tones of different frequencies. And for those bass heads out there, I was able to hear a frequency of 27 hertz with these. So they hit a lot of highs and low bass as well, something I wasn't expecting. The noise cancellation is also quite exceptional. It's really hard to hear outside noise while wearing these. For instance, my mom came into my room and was vacuuming and I barely realized. I mean, I knew she was, but the sound of the vacuum was so faint with the music at a normal playing level. Now, if you want even better sound isolation, King Yu also sells memory foam ear tips for extra comfort and noise isolation, which are actually quite nice. The idea is really simple, but really nice, especially for long hours of listening to music. Even without the bonus ear tips, the regular ones are quite comfortable. Usually after an hour or so, I have to take out earbuds and let my ears breathe for a little bit before putting them back in. With these, I was able to listen to them for about three to four hours while working on programming and reports. You do have to sit the earbud properly though, otherwise the edge will rest against your ear in which that will become uncomfortable quickly if you don't reposition them. Now the box comes with a felt slash Swedish material pouch with the earbuds in the side with the interchangeable ear tip sizes and also a clip for your shirt to mount the earbuds and keep them from swinging everywhere in case you go running or doing something with a lot of movement. 
it's a minor thing but i like the fact that they added that in there a lot and i've used that while running and it helps uh, station the wire when you're running these earbuds along with other various colors from the same type from King Yu feature tangle free cables believe it or not this is the first time I've witnessed and experienced cables that aren't tangling with each other. I know there are plenty of tangle free earbuds out there, but it's good to know that these at least work. The cables are coated with a stiff, grippy, rubbery material that doesn't let the wires get tangled. Now they do get bunched up and moved around, but you don't need to untie any of the wires physically. You simply just pull them apart and they become unjumbled. I love it. Also, the surface is nice since it doesn't get all sweaty and disgusting if you decide to go on a run or a workout or do yard work with them. They maintain their high friction grip. The King U earbuds also feature an inline mic and a play pause button, which is pretty standard, but here's an audio test from the built in microphone. Like, what do you even say in a little mini microphone test? Like, oh, here's my voice, uh, different frequencies. Uh, uh, uh. Like, I don't know. Yeah, so uh, this is my microphone test. I'm just going to speak random things into it. And so this is this is an idea of what the inline mic sounds like. So the microphone is decent. It gets the job done in case you want to do a phone call or you need to record an audio sample. So it's it's it works. Can you also sent over a pair of their older generation of earbuds, which in all honesty were pretty crappy. I mean, they retail for $10, but still the plastic shell around the auxiliary jack instantly came off and the audio quality wasn't too good either, especially compared with the new generation of earbuds. This puts into perspective that this company actually cares about making their products better and refining them, at least from this perspective. Obviously, they could still not care at all, but the fact that they improved from previous criticism from their previous generation of earbuds is refreshing to see. I highly recommend these if you look for the same attributes as I do in earbuds. These work great, especially when on a budget. They're reliable and affordable and provide good quality. I can't really ask for much more than that. My only con for these is that if the earbuds do sit improperly, the edge of the earbud gets really um, uncomfortable quite quickly. So you gotta make sure they're sitting in your ears right. It, it's not terribly tedious but it's just something to note in case you are wearing these for a long time just make sure they sit in there right and you'll be perfectly fine for a long time of course everyone has their own preferences to sound quality and these won't appeal to everyone but for the basic and average listener i think these do a great job and these earbuds are just well rounded enough to satisfy everyone that sounded wrong I mean, the whole point of this video is not necessarily just reviewing these earbuds, but the fact that you don't have to pay a lot of money to get a really nice pair of earbuds and perhaps a couple pairs in case you lose them frequently and you want something that sounds decent and you're not afraid to lose because it, it wasn't too much of an investment. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the review and let me know which pair of earbuds you swear by because I know there are people that are just diehard fans of Panasonic and Sony and a couple other brands and they just will not jump to a different brand. This is an unknown brand, of course, and a smaller brand as well. Um, but I, I thought it'd be a good shot just to give them a little bit of, of credibility for what they have done here. And remember, if you're new here, consider checking out the rest of the channel and subscribing if you wanna see more videos like this. And I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.